of Layers, I'm here and today we are doing something different. <laughs> so a few weeks ago I said that I was going to show you guys what I had actually been working on in college. Now this is only one project that I've been working on so it's nothing too extravagant and um, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, <laughs> so if you don't know, I am actually a game design student at in uh, in the UK, so I, I I learn how to make games. That's that. <laughs> yeah, one of the assignments we had to do is actually to make a game. Uh, this is only year one, and I am very new to making games, so I apologize if it is not that great. But I t I tried, guys. I tried. Um. <laughs> so. What the, the I don't I've lost the will to speak today. Um, so the engine that we actually have been learning is Unreal Engine, one that I've been the version that I've been using is Unreal Engine for. So all the stuff that I've done is on Unreal Engine and 3ds Max. So <laughs> I am. As I said, I'm new to this stuff, so if it doesn't look or work as great as you guys have expected it to, then I can use the excuse as I am new. So there is that. Um, I, I'm about to, to go through the game. Um, I apologize for the, uh, the delay because, you know, I like suspense. Yeah. As I go through the gameplay, I will talk about the things I wanted to improve and the things that just didn't work and all that kind of stuff, as well as the stuff that did work. Don't worry guys, it will be a bit of that too. But um, <laughs> you guys will be very, if you'd be impressed or ashamed at the fact that I only gave myself two days to complete this game. and. In some aspects, you can. It's definitely visible with the fact that I did have two days to complete it. But in some aspects, you're like, "Whoa, how did you do that in two days?" But <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's kind of like that. It, I'm not gonna lie. I'm quite impressed with the fact that I did do it in two days. Um, <laughs> doubt that it was interesting. I mean, I did thoroughly enjoy making it, but. It was a pain because I did do it in, you know, days. <laughs> yeah, I the reason why I did it in two days was because I was working on another assignment because we have lots and it's only going to get worse in the next year because it is going to be an absolute nightmare. But, you know, I've done one year. And I've seen how bad that is. Bring it on. <laughs> But yeah, this game done in Unreal Engine 4, all the assets I'll see in a second when I actually show you it, because right now you're obviously just watching Minecraft. Um, you'll see all the assets that I've made, so I've done all of the furniture. All of the furniture was done by me. The other assets were not done by me. We were allowed to use pre-made stuff. Just not like main stuff like furniture. So any like plants and stuff that was all pre-made. So I was not me. Uh, yeah, but yeah, everything else that isn't furniture was not. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm really actually looking forward to the to the new or well, the, the next year because right now. And I'm recording this. I have actually finished my first year, and that is insane. <laughs> As you guys probably know, that I was actually quite ill around Christmas, uh, hence my hi hiatus from YouTube. Um, so that was fun, especially trying to catch up. That was, I mean, I was gone for like two months because uh, I was really ill. 
Catching up with everything was an absolute pain. I'm not going to lie. Um, even when I was recovering, it was like at least like two hours a day when I was recovering just to catch up with, with my fellow classmates. Um, so <laughs> there was that. That was, that was really fun. Even when I was recovering. But anyway, I'm going to stop yabbering on and delaying. I will let you guys actually see the game. Okay, so here we have it. This is uh, the game, and I've na labeled it good. I uh, titled it The Library. It's, you know, it's a library. <laughs> it's a horror based game. I mean, it's, it is horror based. I'm just gonna walk around here a little bit. So, this is, yeah, this is the library. It's not very big. But as I said, two days. <laughs> Uh, if I had, if I did have more time, then I would have made it a little, a little tiny bit bigger. But you know, it's it's fine as it is. It actually works, and I'm not actually complaining about like the size of it because, in a way, it does work. So <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm not complaining about its size in any way. Like it looks good. It looks good. <laughs> this this is uh, the game. Um, so I made like all the tables, the chairs, the desk over here, which is a bit weirdly textured, but we're not going to actually um, focus on that. So we got the chairs. So these kind of assets over here, so like the dustbin, which funny enough you can walk through, <laughs> uh, they are pre-made. So things like the trees and the grass, I would not have been able to make grass move. That is beyond my skills. And like the trash bags, uh, the boxes were actually pre-made, we're just going to ignore that. Um, <laughs> yeah, those were pre-made. And the books, so if you come around here, so like these books up here, they were pre-made. I wasn't willing to make about 10 different books, because I, I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> Uh, so all these assets that were pre-made, so this is pre-made as well. And then, I was so good at making this game, I swear. Like, wow. Um, so all these books were mega scans and Unreal assets, I think. Um, so it was, it was, it was fun. I mean, we got all the rocks over there as well. And there's some rock. I think there's rocks here. That you can't walk into. I'm stranded on a rock. Um, things I would improve. Obviously, it would be bigger. So, this isn't actually very big. Uh, and I think I'll just get on to other things I would improve as we, as I discuss what the game is about. So, <laughs> you may be wondering, M, why did you go for horror? Is you don't actually play much heart and I've just actually looked at my OBS and I apologize if it's a bit framey. It's not actually like that in real life. It's actually really framey. So I apologize for that. Um but yeah. Why did you go for horror M? Well, I wanted to give a horror because I kinda got inspired by um Phasmophobia. And I went with that. <laughs> So yeah, I went with Phasmophobia as my like my base reference for this. So there is a ghost, and you probably realize the fact that I am am staying over at this side of the the room. <laughs> that is for a reason, and you know the ghost is over there. Um, you, you might have seen her already, but she is very hard to see. It's a girl, by the way. Um. The little girl ghost. She's supposed. She's not actually supposed to be a ghost. Um, the model that I used. I didn't make the model. That that's also pre-made. <laughs> I'm not very good at making characters, um, as well as I am making assets. So, yeah, the girl is actually a solid model. However, I'm just gonna. You ready to see her, guys? She's pretty spoopy. So she's over here. She won't run to me if I'm on this side. There she is. She's um 
somehow see through and I don't know how I managed to do that. Um, <laughs> no magic. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know how I managed to make her see through. She just happened to come out like that. I, and for some reason she, she moves when I walk, which again is a little bit on the weird side. Um, things that I would have improved with her and just the ghost idea in general, I'm going to come up here. Um, is that originally I was actually going to have three ghosts. So one was going to be in that corner, one in this corner, and one in that corner in the, behind these bookshelves. Um, but for some reason, the models didn't want to load in Unreal. So I was like, I've got two days. I really can't be bothered to sort this out right now. So I just stuck with her. And as I said, for some reason, she is see-through, and I do not know why. <laughs> uh, so another thing that I would improve with her is literally... Uh, she's not really doing much at the moment, to be honest. Um, she's just there, looking at, her, looking at her fingernails. It's like, oh yeah, I've got blood on my hands, that looks nice. Blood makes good nail varnish, right? So yeah, she's just standing there right now. Um, so yeah, I would, if I could improve further, I would make her move around. And you know, jump scare people a little bit, because that's fun. <laughs> so there is a probably my, oh, and there's one more improvement. You see what I'm holding right now? It's the default gun in Unreal Engine and the hand as well. So those are the default textures. Um, if I had more time, I would change the player model and the and the uh, the gun model. So oh, and and and, and that because that's you know totally spooky and all that. So <laughs> that is another improvement that I do. So the way to win this game is you shoot the ghost. That is pretty much um, the idea with this game. So, it's not an exact copy of Faz, because that would be way too difficult for me to code. Um, but I, I, you know, I, I decided to turn it into a, a first person shooter. <laughs> and if you get too close to her, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to get too close, otherwise you'll kill me. There you go. She'll chase you. And you die if she catches you. So, for some reason, she is actually a little bit faster than you. And uh, yeah, if you if she runs into you, she will kill you, and you restart the level. Uh, so if there was actually three models, if you if one of them caught you and he died, you would reset the whole thing. You'd have to kill the ones that you've already killed before again, which again not that great. But as I said, I'm still a beginner. <laughs> So there's that. So I'm not going to shoot her because she makes a lot of noise. Um, so, well, as you heard when I died, when I, when she just ran into me, you could hear like a flame effect sound. That's what happens when you die when she dies, but it doesn't stop until you close down the game. <laughs> and again, no idea why that happens. <laughs> so yeah, there. That's that's another improvement. Oh yeah, there's one more improvement. <laughs> There was so much that I wanted to do with this game, but the two two days were very limited. <laughs> Again, as I said, very impressive for two days, so I, I can't complain. But yeah, one more thing that I wanted to improve, which I've actually did code in, but just didn't work, was a health like health for her. Because right now, if you kill, if you shoot her she, once, she'll die. Like <laughs> that is it. Um, so yeah, if you if you do shoot her, she will die in one hit, which isn't the best. So there's that, and then like the one bit of coding that actually properly worked, which I'm like stupidly proud of, is that light right there. <laughs> I was so so happy with how that light turned out, and I don't know why. It just makes this game look so much more creepy. I was like making this game and I was just thinking of ways to make it even more creepy. I was like, 
Okay, I got these lights here. Let's have one flickering instead. Because <laughs> that makes things just 100% more creepy. I'm not going to get too close to you because you'll decide to kill me. Um, yeah, that is the probably the one thing that I'm most proud about with this game is just a single light. Um, yeah, the lights I'm actually very proud of because... Originally, I only had light sources. I didn't actually have the physical lamps. There's another one over here. There's this one as well. And I, I literally just... The, the, it looks so weird with just the light sources there. So I was like, okay, what can I do to improve this? So I, I went my way and decided to create the, the lamps. The, these ones. So all these ones are the same. And then there's this one as well. So this one's the only one that's different. And I put them in. And I was very impressed. Because <laughs> as you can see, the light source is literally right in the middle right here. If you look at this one. So if you look at that, all the way around, this is dark. And only this bit, which... Theoretically, if you look at a lamp, would be the bit that would be lit up. <laughs> and if you look at the walls and all the assets and stuff, it's darker up there. So, to be honest, the lights actually worked. So, <laughs> I, I'm that's another thing I'm very proud of. And I also did all like these furniture that was knocked over. There's like this bit over here, and um, all of these are like, oh, this one's leaning up as well. They got like books on the floor. I'm not getting close because she'll chase after me. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, these books were a nightmare to place because over here, right, I had this bit over here that was completely blank. So I decided to get all the book models that I had, place them all here, copy paste them into towers, and then move the towers individually. That was a nightmare. I'm not gonna lie. And then I've got all the, like the individual books here. So I literally grabbed the amount of books that I needed for each bookshelf. So like there's three here, there's four there, two up there, and so on and so forth. And it was an absolute nightmare. Like the towers of books were literally like to, to that line there. It was crazy. And then I had exporting issues. And then when I was when I finished the game, and it was crazy. Like I exported this game, what like five six times, just because it didn't want to export. I was having lighting issues. I was finding floating books. <laughs> the uh, the texture of the floor didn't uh, render in. And it's just like okay, this is just getting really annoying right now. <laughs> So yeah, that is, that's my game guys, and to be honest, I like it, and it's a pretty good attempt for a first try. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish here guys, before I continue rambling on, because this is already a long video for my standards, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a quick look around, so sorry again for the frames, because you know, Apparently my computer can't keep up anymore. And... Hello ghosty. Oh, she, she chases you all the way around, by the way. Like, you can get onto the tables and she'll just stand here. Like, she can't jump onto the table, so you can literally just jump on the table. She'll run up to, like, here and you could shoot her without her being able to touch you. That's fun. I actually do that. Hang on, hang on. Oh, oh, she's moving around. Don't know why I got her attention then, but... Come around here. Come on. There we go. Okay, good ghosty girl. And then come around here. There we go. So that's... You can get a clear shot from, of her from here. There. God, she's... But yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I'm gonna actually come up here, because if I kill her, she's gonna fall forward and kill me. Which is another problem with the game. I'm just saying problems right now. Oh, running around here. Okay, you gonna you gonna go there? 
And wait. I missed. I keep missing. Are you gonna stay there? There you go. Bye. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection